Hello, this is Arlie News, and I am here. I am the, I'm letting you know I am the most reliable source on on YouTube. The most reliable news source. That not PewDiePie, not fucking Philip DeFranco. It's me, okay? I'm the most reliable source for news on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get into the news. Um, and my name is Donald Trump. <laughs> Hello, my name is Donald Trump, and we're gonna talk about this is getting out of control. So Pew 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 uh, Felix talks about um, he talks about like how T Series uh, and his friends kind of helped him kind of widen the sub gap as T Series is actually approaching towards like PewDiePie sub count really quickly. But uh, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye did come out and help his friends, his close friends, in, in desperate, he's in desperate need and they came through at the last final leg of the battle. So that's awesome. Also, I would say, um, what else happened? I think Charity, uh, PewDiePie donated to Charity or asked his viewers to donate to Charity. Um, and also addressed all the kind of raci racist, racial comments on India and Indians in general because, you know, he is fighting an Indian channel. Um, and that, you know, there's always going to be negativity, especially when you have so much media attention right now. PewDiePie has millions. I mean, he, he gained 500k subs in one day. <laughs> it's crazy. Some people can only imagine having that many subscribers one day. But the bigger you get, the more subs, it's just your channel will never die, you know. Once you hit his level, look, okay, one million subscribers, okay, you have your channel's liable to die at some point. Okay, ten million subscribers, okay, you're huge, but your channel won't really die. You could lose more views, but I mean, once you hit fifty million subs, I feel like your channel can't die. It, it just won't happen. Because you have so much watch time, so much growth, so many subscribers there that even if your views go down, your your channel can always reactivate if you even make a video on a trending topic because you just have so many fucking people. You know, so, hey, let's get into the video, though, that we're reacting to. It looked like it was finally the end. This month long campaign to keep me as the number one subscriber, to keep me afloat above the inevitable T series. The sub gap was less than 15,000 years ago. That's closer than it's ever been. It looked like all hope was lost. It looked like it was finally it. But then, something happened. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye finally showed up in the final hour, the last second. I literally won't <laughs> shut up until you subscribe to PDI. My friends who have previously been silent for mysterious unknown reasons finally decided to extend their helping hand. God bless you both. So yesterday we hit uh, 500... <laughs> 500,000 subscribers. That's right. I definitely deserve this. Thank you very much. He thought that was a T-Series. I bet... I bet you they were sitting there with the champagne, ready to finally pop the bottle. Oh, jeez, this is a bit obnoxious. Oh, jeez, this went on way longer than it should have. <laughs> Not so fast, T-Series. I don't think so. There was a ton of other creators that show their support as well, and I, seeing it all, it's just been amazing. All the fan support, all the memes, I absolutely love it. I know I said, and I still mean it, I don't care if T-Series passes me, but this is all too fun. I, I don't remember the last time I had this much fun on YouTube. It, it just, everything has been insane. It all started with Mr. Beast creating the billboards to tell people to subscribe to me. Hey! Uh, what is this one say again? This content. This content is so original. Which then inspired my fans all across the world to do the same. Hand out flyers, put up posters. Justin Roberts bought the biggest billboard in New York City. <laughs> there! Oh my oh, god! It's there it is! Lasagna for 10 hours straight. <laughs> Hacker Giraffe hacked 50,000 printers to tell 
people to subscribe to PewDiePie. Definitely a worthy cause. The amount of attention this is getting is just absolutely insane. Everyone seems so caught up, everyone seems so invested to this, subscribe to PewDiePie, blah blah blah, and I honestly feel like I don't deserve it. I feel really weird about it, but it's a blast nonetheless. You've probably seen these live streams where it's PewDiePie versus T-Series, and uh, everyone is just so invested into this. But there's a part of this that I really, really don't like, but, and it's a shame because I, it is the vast majority of people, but it sometimes in these comments, and you guys have told me this as well, you see comments such as like Indians or Indian C word, just really distasteful, unnecessary comments. And I obviously make Indian jokes and stuff like that, but I do that of all countries. And this is and that's true. Like I don't like that the comments. That's what I was talking about at the beginning of the video, where um, that's not cool at all. I don't think you should be saying that stuff. It is very distasteful and very disrespectful and could come across as racist in a way. Um, it, it's just disgusting. And and we know that's not the bro army. That's not PewDiePie's viewers or fans. That's just like, it's a huge amount of people you, from all over the world just coming into his channel. And he, you know, no one's gonna be prepared for that, you know? Not what I'm about, and I know my fan base isn't about this either. I'm getting more attention now than I'll probably ever get. And I feel really weird about it it as well so why not just take that fact and redirect it to something more positive and show that this fan base and this group of people can do something positive as well because I know we can no more for India let's instead help India maybe you already knew this or, or maybe you didn't but there's over 10 million child laborers in India between the age of 5 and 14 and even more between the age of 15 and 18 almost 23 million that means that almost that is why I like PewDiePie. That right there is why I admire him. I don't know him as a person, personally, or this isn't going to make me think, oh, he's a better person, because I don't feel like he's doing this to try to be a better person. I think he's genuinely just doing this because he wants to. And that is what makes PewDiePie awesome, because he's using his influence. Whether he's a good person or not, behind the scenes, it doesn't matter. He's using his influence and his his uh, power for good and that is admirable in my books he's taken a, a situation that's really silly funny subscriber war whatever and using it to actually have some real impact on top of that embracing that internet culture and having fun with it you it's like the best of both worlds you know like you can't tell this is why like I inspire that like hopefully my content can get to that point where I, I have a ton of subscribers. I have, I'm at that point and I can actually help people and have that impact as well as I grow on this platform. I'm still small. I'm still learning things I don't, there's things that I won't know about yet. There's a journey to this, but watching PewDiePie just makes it all the, all so much more sweeter. You know what I mean? One out of 10 kids in India are working. Now this is mostly in rural areas, but this means that a lot of kids in India are missing out on a chance for a proper education and a chance for a proper future. That's why I decided to create a fundraiser for the charity called CRY. <coughs> CRY is a charity that focuses on making a better future for kids in India. The reason I picked CRY as a charity is because they recognize that just rescuing these kids won't be enough. So they instead work on identifying the root causes for these issues to solve them. Children, for example, work mainly to help their families and because there's a high demand for child labor. But CRY set up strategies to prevent these issues and uproot them to build a better future for all of India. I think it's a great cause. I would highly encourage you to donate. I created a fundraiser down in the description. Please do check it out and, and donate any bit will help. I will of course donate as well. And tomorrow between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. UK time, I will be live streaming where all the proceeds will go towards raising funds for this charity. Let's do something cool. I think we can turn this around and make it something really cool and really positive. Let's actually help nine-year-old kids in India. <laughs> That's it. Thank you for listening. Bye. That was so awesome. That you gotta be real. And that's that is that is that that uh you know like some of the people I meet out here and like if only <laughs> but um 
I, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, man. I hope you heard his message and actually can donate. Hell, tell me in the in the comments down below when I stream and I stream a video game. Would you guys like to see me um, stream and and maybe make donations to charity as well? I'm down for that. It'd be awesome. And uh, yeah. Anyways, peace.